I got laid off. I got fired. I got fired. But here's the thing. I was a binge guy. I remember seeing her at the local titty bar. I feel dirty right now just telling it into a microphone. We're broken around here. Working man is Everybody, welcome back to the Working Class Souls Podcast. I'm your host, Ed McGowan, here in the break room with my co-host, Josh Accardo. What's up, dude? What's up, brother? Good to see you. Thank you for being here. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody doesn't know that I was I did, did not want to be here today. He never wants to be <laughs> our, our guest today is a really funny comedian. She has a great show called Stick a Pole in it. Uh, give it up for Joanna Ross. Now, Joanna, what is your worst day job? Oh, we're jumping right in. Okay. That's how we do it. Can I preface it? I don't I can't even, I don't even have words. Uh, okay. I'm going to start by saying I just stopped <laughs> doing a Broadway show. Oh, okay? awesome. So then my job after that was at this place called Candlestick. And it sold Is that candles. like a thing with you now that you cannot do anything without <laughs> shtick in the title? Oh my god, I didn't even notice it. You didn't oh even god. notice that? I'm just putting that together. That, That's how they found her. They're like, oh, she yeah. likes a good shtick. <laughs> what if I'm making that up? You're a like, comedian. I'm just remembering. And I'm just like, oh, everything's just everything, shtick now. Everything says shtick. Okay. Hot dog on a shtick. That's yeah. your next job. <laughs> Book shticking it. Uh, signing books. Okay, so... Okay, it was the candlestick. It sold candles, but mostly Christmas ornaments, which I don't even... Year-round. Year-round. And I got the job because it was they were paying under the table, so a bunch of Broadway people were working there. Oh. But my job was to stamp bags that had a running candle. <laughs> <laughs> so I was in the dungeon just stamping these bags oh. going, I was just on Broadway. What the fuck is happening? What theater were you working at for the Broadway show? Uh, oh, where Hamilton is. Uh, what was that? I don't know. That's, see, uh, those are my favorite where you're like, this prestigious, <laughs> I studied the arts. Yeah. I am a, oh, I, I, I know Shakespeare in my, uh, it, I'm articulating so well and, and I am stamping these paper bags <laughs> like, like, with the ferocity. Was, like she, she's taking a I bow was, at the end of the show and somebody goes, Oh, she sold me a really nice bag. Yeah. Oh, actually, uh, she was at a really cool bag shop. That great menorah candle? <laughs> that's the best. Like, God, that's I, I so admire you doing Broadway and also No, no, no. Working this is after the a, show closed. I know, but still it's so oh. funny that you were oh, on yeah. Broadway. <laughs> it was it was it was, you know, when I was young, so I didn't know what depression was. And I was oh, like, Oh, yeah. I think I might need to be depressed. I mean, it was also I was in the downstairs. There's no windows it was crazy but the one thing i der- did learn there which is amazing was how to call a customer a cunt now Ooh. i ha- i worked with a lot of gay men uh-huh. and so this one guy and i then i was upstairs like selling christmas ornaments and you know we're oh, all, you got promoted can yeah, i ask I got you promoted. can i ask you a question about the christmas yes. ornaments do you have to wear like a little santa hat kind of deal or no. no it was just it was a really tiny place with ornaments and candles. And I don't, it, guess what guys, it doesn't exist anymore. Uh, Upper West Side, <laughs> Upper West Side. So this- Christmas ornaments where predominantly Jewish people live. That's, yeah. uh, so it's not open anymore, I yeah. wonder why. Close, close down. <laughs> was it named Tchotchkes? Uh, it changed, right before it closed, they called it Tchotchkes, it still didn't work. Hanging Tchotchkes. So this guy was like, um, you know, we had this really horrible customer and he's like, like, see you next Tuesday. And I was so young and naive. I was like, it's Wednesday, <laughs> dummy. And he's like, you don't know what I just did? I was like, no. He goes, I called her a cunt. See you next Tuesday. And I was like, amazing. <laughs> That's what I learned at the I, Candlestick. The little joys. I have a little story about that. So I, there's a doorman in our, our, uh, our building that he only works on Tuesdays. And he said that to a woman, I'll see you next Tuesday. She filed a fucking report wow. against him. The nicest guy. The nicest guy. He was like, dude, I don't even understand. Yeah. You can't yeah. do that. Right? You can't catch a break. See you next Tuesday. You're allowed to I do hope it. He that didn't is get, like, I hope he was like, it was I like work. Years ago. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. how much of a cunt she is. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Double, double <laughs> she is, there's no way this guy was just being polite. <laughs> That's right. how many people in her life <laughs> fucking hate her guts. She just no. makes everyone around her miserable that she knew right away she was being called a cunt. That's crazy. Ugh. I don't even know if I would know even though I know. Even if somebody... <laughs> right. But that's the... To well, me, that's, that's how you didn't know because you don't see yourself yeah, that way. Yeah, I was like, I was like, I'm... <laughs> but it's one of those things to me. That's one of those things where you're... you're 
that you get a pass on those. You're allowed to yeah. do that one. That's a that's yeah. a one. See you next Tuesday. You're allowed There's to do so that. There's so much if gray area Tuesday, there. Even if you're Where's like going to see someone on Tuesday. But even if it's just like, yeah, I mean, I'll never see you again. Hey, hey, see you next Tuesday. Like when I leave today, I'm gonna go to Josh. I'm like, hey, I'll see you next Tuesday. <laughs> that's our sign off from here on out. When I see you guys, see you I'll next call Tuesday. Call everyone. <laughs> There's too many gray areas there to lodge a complaint. <laughs> it's crazy. What a crazy. low life. Yeah. What it's some guy parent. working his nuts off at the desk, uh. just trying to make a like, eek by. You uh. live in the building, so you obviously are doing better than he is Does she live in financially. She lives in the building. She was going up to her apartment, and he she said, all right, see you next Tuesday. He works on Tuesdays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so funny. I, I, And it's the immediate reaction is, God, what a cunt. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right? it, it's like That's, self-fulfilling. It's her. It's her. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're going to call her the real word, not see you next Tuesday <laughs> exactly. anymore. I had, a, I had a door guy incident where um, I was living with this woman and I had to move out. And you can only move out online. It was like a big... On like, Tuesdays. <laughs> yeah, oddly enough, <laughs> Tuesdays. Uh, <laughs> but you can only move out in certain, like, certain days. And it was it's one of those big buildings in the financial district over there in Battery Park area. So there's so many rules about using uh, the elevator. Yeah, it's just yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. insane amount of protocol. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's also everyone can get greased. And Ooh. I was so broke. I mean, she was the one with money. I just lived there and definitely did not end well. I was <laughs> trying to get out of there as quickly as possible. And I'm like rolling things out and like uh, I borrowed a dolly from a guy. <laughs> like just rolling <laughs> books out without any boxes. It's just, it's become, it's a problem. Like I'm rolling my bed that has a built-in drawer in it. It's just... Uh, <laughs> One of the drawers is falling off, so it's like just a gap. I, it just looks like shit. Yeah. Just, just Sad. Arguing with this door guy to a point where he is so sick of me that he gives me the clearance to go through like the secret bowels of the building to uh, the back exit yeah. of the uh-huh. building. Yeah. Uh, but I just remember those guys. All I just remember them always being on my girlfriend's side. And maybe telling the story oddly enough, they're probably right. But they were always on my girlfriend's side, even though. She called the cops on me once for nothing. She lives there. Yeah. Like right. she's gonna tip them at Christmas. Of that's what it was. She was the one Of course. They must have known I didn't have anything to do with the finances. Dude, I've been living in that building, but Gina was there before me. If things ever went awry, yeah. the whole building would take her side. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For sure. Yeah, you're yeah. right. That's what it is. I, I never knew what that was about. But no, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Christmas. It's about Christmas. <laughs> it is about that tip that makes it worth them doing yeah. what they do. Oh, right? for yeah. sure, dude. All of a sudden, they get all nice around Thanksgiving. Oh, I had it today. The guy was like, "I'm like, dude, I'm just trying to." He's like, "It's a, it's a not a good story, but like his reaction, I was like, listen, dude, I don't tip you for another six months. Relax. Yeah. Oh, he was already working <laughs> yeah, in. Yeah, he was like, I had this whole thing going. I was like, dude, it's fine. It's like me towards year end, like, hey, uh. <laughs> I did a little extra scheduling for you. And I'm just trying to get it in there. Do you want to be noticed at the right time. Yeah. Like, I always try to figure out when are they having those conversations about who gets a bonus or in what, how much bonus they get. And can you figure out a way to get in front of them and do a fucking dance? Oh, yeah. They might have forgot how good you dance, yeah. boy. His day job. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. doing it all. Uh-huh. I don't give a shit. I have yeah. no shame. 40s is the no shame you want, to, you want to talk about Taylor Swift era's tour? I'm in my no shame era tour where I will fucking dance and wag my dick in any direction where there might be some dollar bills, Eddie. I'm sick of it. Wait till he's 50. What is he going to do then? It's going to be my whole asshole then, Joanna, yeah. when I'm 50. Gonna go pantsless it's going to be 5 0 for a reason because it's going to be the old cornhole. <laughs> it's going to be five cornhole. I'm here for it. You know? <laughs> I don't give a fuck, man. I'm telling you right now, and I, 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 I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready to go all in. Nice. Pull the gloves up high. Because we got to get these fucking wins. I'm telling you, yeah. Joanna. I'm ready. Let's what? Let's do something right now. <laughs> I, let's uh, go out and fucking find some money. <laughs> it's to get that money. Uh, so what is your? So what, that, that's a day job. But like, how? Uh, what other day jobs have you had? Okay. That's a retail job. Right. That's, how long did you have that job? Ooh, 
this was back in the 90s when you can get a job within a day so you could like stay somewhere for like two days one day an hour you're like i'm going to get something else which i feel like i don't think people realize that like oh, yeah. i waitressed and bartended a lot we're talking about new york city yeah, specifically oh, yeah, new york yeah, city, yeah, yeah, yeah. city you could get a lot of Sorry, gig yes. jobs very quickly yeah, right yeah, yeah. especially in the 90s and oh, the early aughts and oh, even yeah. 2010 and on oh, up yeah, till about sure. like what 2018 that's probably when it all stopped shut up really okay because i was in la at that point too like well so. i mean like being able to get like a, a day gig very quickly i think it might have been after the 2008 uh, crash. Okay, yeah. I think things that makes got more sense. Sense. to that. Become waiters. Yeah, yeah, all the, the, all those. Yes. Yeah, everybody. a lot of trickle down. Yeah, yeah, exactly right. Yeah, so I, I mean, I worked at TGI Fridays. Oh yeah, yo. Like twice. Hey, whoa, I worked whoa, whoa. There, baby. This is uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. this guy's a, a Hall of Fame. I had a lot TGI. of pins. I had a lot of pins. I uh, most of mine were like uh, like metal, like Metallica and Slayer. <laughs> like I had. Like, they honor him at TGI oh, Fridays. The they ring that bell behind the bar four times for Eddie. I went. To, I went to a reunion. Every time a keg's gone. A Friday, TGI Friday is South Street, We're done. Philadelphia We're done here. reunion. Yeah. Wait, where? What? Down in Philadelphia oh, on oh, South Street. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. There was a TGI Friday, the second well, one. Well, here bar. it's bad. Oh, the one at Times Square. I worked at the one in Times Square. Which no, no, no. Sorry. Uh, is that still uh, around? The other, the other Forty Second, um, Grand Central, had one like you know, like two blocks away. Like it was connected to Grand Central, mm. but not in Grand Central. And then on Fiftieth by um, Flashers. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. Flash there, you, that, oh, flash dancers. Oh, flash dancers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Flash Joanna. Come on. <laughs> Get your flashers. titty bar straight. <laughs> oh, it's your show's flashers. called Shtick a Pullin' and you're disrespecting the subgenre <laughs> oh, of your genre. Flash it's on every taxi cab and I can't read it. I know, it's just some Russian lady. <laughs> right? Flash flashers flash actually oh, sounds like a bunch of flash like dancers. <laughs> I didn't want to give this this dancer any money. I was so broke and I got dragged in there and she looked right, she must have been having a tough night. She looked right at me and was like, are. You're fucking ugly. <laughs> my feelings were so hurt. I told the bouncer, and the guy couldn't care less. He was just like, "It's like I just want to let you know, buddy. You got dancers in here calling me ugly. I'm in here spending money. I haven't spent any money." I told the bouncer, and I tried to tell her ass, and the guy was like, "Get the fuck out of my face, dude. My feelings were so hurt." <laughs> the bouncer at the strip club. He, and like, it was like the most important bouncer, too. He had the he just, suit and the, the CIA shit he, in his ear. He's called me ugly. And he goes, hey, this yeah. lady just called me ugly. I don't know who you're employing. What did you expect Can him I to do? Can I talk to HR? Can I, uh, what's, uh, okay. who do I talk? Hey, if, they, if Yelp was around, this is like 2007, oh, if it was oh Yelp God. was around, then I would have fucking yelped him, God, too. God, I want to find this woman. <laughs> God, you ruined me, man. I will buy her drinks. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, well, how old were you? How old were you when when, when the stripper oh, man. crushed I you? I was twenty. It would have hurt. Oh, I, I think the God. time I was twenty-seven, but it would have hurt me up until like thirty-nine. It <laughs> I just started yeah. getting okay with myself. <laughs> that shit hurt me because she was like a sexual object in this yeah, place, yeah, like yeah, this yeah. object of desire. And you know, I didn't give her money because I, I, I would have gave her a buck if I had it. She was very beautiful. It's one thing, like if a woman on the street calls you ugly. Yeah. It's another thing where in a like professional this, this whole like sexual kind of place where you get called ugly, it hurts so much more. <laughs> Dude, it's so God so damn. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to go home after. Like I ruined everybody's uh, night. I was so oh, God. so Also, hurt. you're going there to feel good, and it like that. Oh, dude, it ruined me. I yeah. went to Flash Dancers, aka Flashers, Flashers. Um, one time because our friend worked That'd there. That'd be a great guy strip club name. Yeah, though. I don't. Yeah. Really I mean, would. maybe Absolutely. I was just you know Hoping. creating. Yeah. So we went there to see our friend, and we went with like two guys, and I was making out. They're like, no, 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 you can't make out, and I was like, what? Like they have rules, and apparently yeah. not calling well, that's you not a f- ugly, ugly is not one of them. <laughs> well, that, that's not a fun one either. That that particular no. titty bar. Wait, there are wait, some fun ones out you there. You were making out with one of the dancers. No, a guy. a guy we brought. Like, and they're like, you can't make out. Uh, and they don't want like, anything that looks like sex uh, going right. on. I think it's or, more they want attention. Of course. I, I think. I, yeah, I, I don't right. know who the fuck knows. 90s I think, were I think yeah. you're right. I think yeah, you're, like, you're no, pulling. No, no. People are gonna yeah. start watching you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So whatever. So I waitressed a lot. Bartow. This is my crazy. This is the crazy job I had. I worked at the Village Idiot. Do you remember that on 14th Street? It was like a. A country western bar when oh, no. when they were oh. like famous at the time. Yeah, so you had yeah, Cal- yeah. Coyote Ugly. Oh yes, oh. I know Coyote Ugly really well. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then what was the other one? Hogs and Heifers. Hogs and Heifers. Hogs and Heifers. Really well, I know that one. Yeah. That's a good one. Oh, I used to Hogs spend a lot of time. My friend time. worked there too. Yeah, my that's a worked- great two a.m. get a drink place. Like when you're at the end of the rope, you're like, let's go to Hogs oh. and Heifers. Oh, that's so and funny. And one was- of your like quiet girlfriends gets up there and just 
takes her titties it out <laughs> on the bar. I mean, oh, it's wow. wild, yeah. We had a Christmas party from Footloose, which is the Broadway show I was in, yeah. at Hogs and Heifers, and some of the chorus girls took oh, it off. Wish, and I was like, I I I was don't, this all went wrong. <laughs> this all went wrong. But awesome. I, I mean, I had been there for years. And um, my friend worked there. She definitely called me up one time because she was too drunk to go home when she worked there. Oh, oh yeah, because wow. people buy yeah. shots. Oh, it was right. before the and era of like faking drinking shots. Yeah, you have shot. to take those shots. Yeah. You have to get on the bar as oh, a worker. Wow. As a wow. worker. So she calls me up. I'm living with someone on their couch. I just moved to New York. She's like, and the girl who I live with was like, Allison's on the phone for you. And I was like, what do you want? She goes, I can't, I can't get home. I don't know where I live. Oh, <laughs> I was like, shit. I show up. 20 minutes later I'm the best friend ever I'm on the Upper East Side I go to the Lower West Side Whoa. In a cab I get there And she goes What are you doing here? Uh, and I was like You told me you can't get home And she's like I can't And then I, Yeah I took her so, home in a cab And went back home But anyway yeah. So this was around that time I worked at a bar Called The Village Idiot Which was trying to do The same thing it was on 14th Street at 9th. So it's on 14th right before 9th. Mm -hmm. And uh, same thing, I had to take shots. At the time, I was like, I'm not drinking. And they're all like, you have to drink. And so I just filled up like a bottle of water and just served myself. But the owner was like this huge 400 pound guy who would throw things at me because he knew I wasn't drinking. So he'd throw the shot glasses at me. He'd also eat the shot. He was crazy. He would throw glass at you? Oh, yeah. He was just like, you're not drinking. And he was just, he was hammered. Uh, and I had to feed goldfish. No, wait. I had to feed goldfish to a, a snapping turtle or a killer turtle. And so, like, everyone would be drunk and be like, I want a three goldfish for a dollar. I'd have to go behind the, from out behind the bar, go get the goldfish and then feed it to the turtle. It was the craziest Whoa. job. Wait, yeah, wait, wait, yeah. wait, 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 wait. So this crazy. is a bar where like just it's just the drinking is like unbridled. Yeah. And they have a snapper turtle. Yes. That you can pay three dollars. A dollar. A dollar. Three, three goldfish. Three goldfish. How, how many fingers were lost? Oh, I, I don't, <laughs> there no, had I to mean, be I'm some just, injuries. I'm throwing them in. They, oh, they you have to. Oh, you had to do yes. it. So they're just trying to make money. Right. Like and, it, and it's not as busy <laughs> as the other place. Bro. I mean, we could do hey. that at the show. Uh, yes. Can, we, can I get yes. those on uh, Spirit Airlines? <laughs> get that, like, Snapper a, turtle? Get them while you're there. Get, we get just them while you're there. We want to them into the, yeah. to the shows. Out, it, right next to the merch table. Imagine the, the overhead <laughs> on that. Is there something as a snapping turtle? Am I making this show? No, yeah. yeah snapping okay, turtles, so, you can lose a finger. So what I didn't know at the time, too, was that there was a huge dominatrix place called like the Vault or X or something right around there at the, the time. The Vault I don't sounds think, familiar, but go yeah. ahead. Sorry. And so there's a lot of dom people coming in. And I don't know why. And they're getting shit-faced. I was way too young for this job. So one night, it was really, really, really slow. There's probably 10 people in now, the Now, do you have to dance in the bar, too? No, this is... It's I, just one, the, it's just the drinking of the shots. Yeah, okay, the drinking all right. of the shots. You know, like, he's like, you're a bitch goddess. I'm like, I'm 24. Like, I don't... Whatever. <laughs> um, so one night, really, really slow. My The two owners... One that is never there was there. I'm not going to ruin the joke. It's not a joke. It's it, I'm not going to ruin what he looked like. He was very cute. And there were these two. It was a couple that were getting in a huge I fight. like how she didn't want to tell us how hot another guy was. Yeah. You're no, gonna no, no, Ed, no, that's not Because you're going to make Ed mad. <laughs> I, I, how dare you talk I, about another I, handsome man in front of I know Ed, that Josh is sexy. We well, already know right Josh now. is ugly. But <laughs> we know I'm ugly. <laughs> But Ed's been holding out. <laughs> Ed's not sure yet, okay? No one's told him whether he's ugly or not. So, okay. So this, so it's it's slow, whatever. A couple gets in a fight. The owner knows, like, everyone at the bar because there's only, like, ten of them. This girl is so drunk. She just get hops up on the bar, takes her pants off, and my boss is in a wheelchair. He is. <laughs> and just wheels on up and eats her out. Whoa. Wow. And I'm like, I don't think I need to be at, like, what? This is my wow. life. And I'm Whoa. looking around being like, no one cares. God, New York used to be great. It used to be great. There's one other wow. girl there, and I'm like, this is the best the story I will ever have. The audacity of the wheelchair have. man. Wow. Yeah. And then, so he's done, and I don't even know what we're all doing, why this is happening. And she doesn't, like, pull her pants up or something. Like, she just has them around her ankles, and her boyfriend comes back. Oh, it beats By the, the end of the night, they're all drinking, having the best time ever. I was like, what? Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it was nice. He's like, he's like, listen, I know. I it's just, probably not the first time she's done that, and it's probably yeah. what they do. 
I feel like I want to get a There's wheelchair. There's never any now. accidents. I, 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 I feel like I want to start rolling around in a wheelchair. What if I was like, you're not too, you're not hot enough for a wheelchair, Ed? You're not hot Sorry, enough. Yeah. Yeah. It was a crazy bar. I was like, I got to get out of here. I made a lot of money. So he was 400 pounds in a wheelchair. No, this is and the other one. There's two pussies. Of them. So there was oh, okay. a hot guy in a wheelchair and a 400 pound oh, guy. I did catch that part. Oh, it was the hot guy in the wheelchair. It's too early. Can we do this later at night? Yeah, I'm so sorry. I, I'm, a, I'm a working wheel- class hall. God, that's so great. There's a fucking hot guy, hot guy in who's a debilitated. He probably can't get it up. So all yeah. he can do oh, is munch box. You know he's what? probably excellent. He's probably very good. Yes. He's probably very good. Now this yeah, checks yeah. out. And uh-huh. because he's hot, she wasn't going to stop him. If well, you're because she was hammered. Well, hey, she already took her pants off. Things yeah. can be true. <laughs> They're not they, exclusive. <laughs> I kind of wonder now, looking back, because I don't. I mean, this is like almost 25 years ago. Like, right. I wonder, like, you still think did, about that hot guy in the wheelchair? I don't even know what but he looks that, like. But I know he was cute. I remember he was cute. You just don't get to do that. You know, you feel like you can't just wheel on up and start eating a girl out. I don't think they no, knew that's each not other either. Like, no, I, it doesn't I, sound like yeah. Like, I think it was like he just happened to be there with like five friends. I'm gonna say this as a kink person. Couples that dabble in like public display of uh-huh. sex and stuff like that. Got real serious. It's, it's a it's like a hat tip to the partner. If okay. she runs in and takes her pants off, uh-huh. granted it could be just flat debauchery, but in my experience, that's usually oh, something got it, they got it, do. Got it. So he's uh, kind of it's part right, of the right, right. kink, oh. and he comes back in. It's a even oh, so, if he, and they were probably from that. That place, the vault, or well, whatever. Probably, that's, like that's that. if it's next to a sex club, yeah. then it's very likely that that's what they do, anyways. That right. she would I, be I, allowed I, per the relationship, God. and she doesn't stop the guy because either she thought it was funny or cute or it was good awesome. or all of the things, all of the above, right. or it was like a shock value thing. I mean, and there's a he number does this of like fake, like oh, I gotta go check the meter. Yeah, sex is leaves, shake- right? <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, I gotta back. go yeah. check yeah. the yeah. meter. We get in a fight and I'll be back. There's always like a role play. People like that always do a good move. Yeah. Because you said they were drinking afterwards. There's With no like way buddies. they don't know yeah, 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 something. Right. right. Or something. Like, I always explained. know when someone's kinky without knowing they're kinky. It's like a thing. I'm not yeah. saying that'll happen in this no, one no, moment, no. but I, I believe because it's next to a sex club as well that the likelihood of them being it's, in yeah. on it. It's interesting okay. that you can like spot that that quick. I have that with like a good sandwich. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that I'm like, this guy, <laughs> this guy, this place makes a good sandwich. And when I'm on the road, I'll go like, hey, you think they sell crack around here? And it'll be like, this is where they do the crack. They <laughs> sell the crack. Probably. It's, it's actually, we've had oh, those we've superpower? had those conversations. Uh. Yeah, I'm like Jason Bourne with that. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna know when someone's available, like making their wife available to us. Ed knows when when the crack is gonna be smoked and when the, where it needs to be purchased. It's like you think you can buy rocks around here? I'm like, no, but this is and where a you sandwich would come joint after you buy it, <laughs> and where the best Bob Evans is within a 50 mile radius. Uh, I, I need to know what mine is now. It's finding jobs that ended uh, yeah. start with yeah. stick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. End of life job. So um, you have like this career path of like kind of outrageous jobs, and now was stick a pole in it based off a job when you guys put that show together, or it's just a, a great idea you came up with? Oh, you didn't um, like work in a place like a pole dancing place or I, anything. I did as a yoga person. Though. Oh, I, so, okay. So my friend that actually worked at Flash Dancers, aka Flash, <laughs> <laughs> she when I went to LA, like just had like the best pole dancing studio in New York at the time. There weren't many. Right now there are. And back then it was like oh, she right. um yeah, so she and she had this like amazing um competition as well. So when I came back here, she was like super like celebrity OG pole dancer and she's like, "Hey, I want yoga at my uh pole dancing studio." And I was like, "Oh, cool. I just moved back. I need jobs." So I'm there um teaching and then Dan, Dan Goodman, you know, you know Dan. Yeah. Uh he did a movie, a short called Skinja, Stripper by Night, Ninja by Later that night. And he That's needed funny. pole dancers. That's great. And so like, oh, we were just telling this story. So he was going out to strip clubs trying to find pole research. dancers. Yeah. Research. Fucking research. But dude. can you imagine a guy and, and Take do you know Frank seriously. Gallo? Yeah. Do you know Frank Gallo? Do you remember Frank Gallo? No. So it's him and Frank Gallo going with their producer cards. <laughs> and I was like, I think you got a fucking ascot on. Yes. Uh, yes. My big rim glasses. I bring out that lens. Yeah. You look, this looks per, this is a probably yeah. great. <laughs> she's she's looking at her, her tits. Oh, I was like, can, I take some, <laughs> can I take some photos of you? And I got to show my other producer. The they walk in, they're just like. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, I think you need me to go and find a girl because they don't. Guess what, guys? No one got back to him. No one got back to him. 
So anyway, I pass up that shot. Yes, I mean, so then we went. Oh god! Then we went to my sister-in-law's. So Strip I gotta talk to Dan about smiles that. Smiles too. Here. Smiles one burned down. That yeah. Oh, so Dan's sister has no, a my sister. Your yeah. your sister in law. Oh, okay. It yeah. Smiles too. Anyway, what smiles too? Uh, a strip club ah, in Jersey. Smiles it would sound like you do Invisalign there. This is where we do yeah. Invisalign, and you can suck on a titty after you're done. You know, in the back room, where you can get Invisalign for Smiles twenty five dollars. So anyway, so we shot that, but he needed like background pole dancers, and so I put up like a sign, like anyone want to pole dance, and like all like so, too many yeah. people wanted to right. do it. Because well, because they're not strippers, but they right. get to pretend. Right. It's like right. Halloween. Right. right, and they're amazing, women. right? Yeah. There's nowhere to go. There's no shows. Like, we get to do shows all the time, right? Good shows, bad shows. So it was shows. before that pole dancing was a, as yeah. popular as it is yeah. now. Because yeah. I know a lot of people that are able to do pole dancing, and it's available to them, and you can either watch it somewhere without it being a strip yeah, club. And, yeah, but yeah, I feel like then it was not yeah. accessible. So if you were like a hot, just like a girl who worked in a yeah. regular job, yeah. but you love pole dancing, you get no. to show off. Yeah, you want to do that exactly. Yeah. So plus your your body's insanely Dude, I, tight. That was I remember that that was that time because yeah. there was a like there was an account girl at the Saturday City I was working at, and everybody found her <gasps> Tumblr page oh. of like pole all dancing. her like pole dancing stuff. Uh, and yeah. some of them try to keep it hidden, which I totally get. Like, yeah, like teachers and yeah, I know that she didn't get in any um, trouble. She didn't get any trouble about it, but we, you know, we were like, hey, she's got a new blog post up. <laughs> oh, yeah. sure was a whole it is i mean she was sexy it's sexy okay, okay. Yeah. yeah i mean but you i don't know, know i don't know about the you guys skill are both level. looking at me real weird no no no, 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 no. i'm kidding i'm kidding you're like <laughs> right no because there is an you're athletic, beautiful ed you're beautiful the, josh the, <laughs> there's an athleticism to it that i don't it's uh have it's uh, i don't know well like, when i go to your show and i see those girls yeah, doing i'm like you're an la person I fell in love with pole dancing before it got mainstream. Eh, I'm not gonna call it mainstream because they were, they were doing it then too, I guess. But Jumbo's oh clown room, yeah, really I, yeah, yeah, showcase yeah, yeah. pole dancing. It's a place well, like you know Jumbo's, Jumbo's right? Jumbo's. Yeah. And they don't get why. naked there, and they pick their own songs from a jukebox. It's a dive bar. It's super famous. Yeah. And every time I was, I l- fell in love with the place because the women were insane at They're the pole, raw. They and were like, they yeah, were yeah. so hot. It was like. Suicide Girls meets uh, like a whole level of talent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When were you there, Josh? Like, what years were you there? Oh, I was going back and forth to, from here to LA for like seven years straight. Oh, okay. For, okay. I did it a lot. Early yeah. 2000s? The, or? Well, no, no, no. I, I'm from San Diego. Oh, okay, okay. But I didn't start really going to LA until I moved here. Oh. I was going back and forth okay. for, Cause like, yeah, back, for comedy uh, store stuff and different other right, events and right. different projects. And then um, that's why I was always. Oh, yeah. I, I probably spent easily two months a year in LA for okay. a while there but and then the pandemic hit and I was like all right I got you but yeah, that Jumbo place was, was incredible yeah yeah super great um yeah so I worked for her we did this thing and then a friend of ours had breast cancer total turn of the story right now and so um I was she was really young like 40 mm-hmm. and uh I was like okay um well we know a bunch of pole dancers and and at the time, like we, the three of us, these these two other girls, <clears throat> one was a pole dancer and the other girl had breast cancer. So we were all like really good friends. Yeah. I'm like, would you dance? Yes. Do you think I can get other people to like do a show? For like a fundraiser, like, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. So I was like, Dan, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do an all day fundraiser, like a million pole dancers and a million comics. And Dan's like, that sounds like the worst thing I've ever heard. Yeah, like, because yeah, yeah. I was like, we'll just we'll keep going. He's like, you can't do an all day event. And I was like, okay. And throughout the uh, lead up to the benefit, um, because pole dancers get hurt all the time because it's super hard Mm -hmm. uh we ended up with five and five which is what we have now so we were supposed to have a um oh my god a drag queen called blackie o nasty host it they don't show up and so dan's like you have to host it and i was like Uh, we're not what i have to host this thing i just and you're doing stand you're a stand-up at this point and also like i just run the whole like it was so it was such a hard yeah yeah running a benefit and Uh, trying to make money for someone like this wasn't just a show this was like we got to make a lot of money yeah Yeah. yeah, yeah. so i was like okay and so i and then blackie o nasty shows up like an hour into the show and i was like it's almost done like what you fucked us yeah so anyway the, the why i say that is because 
after the show, I was like, we are never doing this again. Dan's like, I think we should do this again. This was really oh, great. Wow. We yeah. totally changed. Uh-huh. And I was like, okay, I'll try. And so that's why the show is what it is today. We do five and five still to this day. Yeah. One of us hosts, but we were not, we never thought we'd ever host this show. Which it's is, such a fun show. Yeah. Oh, thank oh, you. It's my so God. hard to pull off too, because I was worried about that. I've only done it once, but I was worried about that. Like, okay, so how do you segue... Oh, comedy yeah. after this smoke show of a human is doing something that is visibly impressive. Like right. what we do is impressive. If On you're if you're looking at like wow, this person just sparked in you know a, mm-hmm. a spontaneous response out of me. Right. But most people don't look at that as cool as like being able to climb up a twelve foot pole and flip around in front of them. It's like the other it, end of the spectrum. Like yeah. you're using just your mouth and yes like and your wit of, like, and your whatever wit. and this yeah, person's right. physically dominating yeah, 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 yeah. Right? right right but the show it was packed and it was a good well, time I, and they, they run a good show was it at that venue yeah they run a good the show benefit? yeah no no it was at oh. our bar do you remember the our bar oh, it had wow. poles it had two poles oh sick and uh it was like a rock joint and yeah how long have you been at that the venue you're at now seven years eight years seven yeah. eight years because yeah. i would i yeah, have you, to say that that stage is awesome is really what uh enables it feels like it's like that puts the comedian and the uh, because it's so high yeah yeah it puts the yep. comedian and the, and the dancer on like a similar level like they don't feel oh, that's so, interesting you know the what height I mean? yeah the height of the stage i feel like yeah oh that's it yeah that is that is interesting i think there are and people audience. get dressed up to go there there's a bunch of it's women a, that show yeah, up it's th- fucking awesome I think um, I think if you don't know what it is, you're like, what am I going to see? This right. is going to be insane. It literally is just pole dancing and stand-up comedy. The comics are at their best and the pole dancers are at their best. You yeah. don't want to see a pole dancer that just started out, right? No, no, like, yeah. It would be like watching an open mic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> so I think our audience is kind of like, if they don't know what it is, they're totally in for whatever, yeah. right? Like, and I think the comedy, it's so funny. I understand why comics would be like, how do I follow that? But man, our audience is ready for it. Yeah. Oh, they totally. Do well, not they're trained see now. It. It's yeah. been around yeah. for so long. I feel like people really do get it. Uh, I, yeah. And because you, you it's, you've been around forever. Yeah. And like you said, even if you yeah. didn't, you would be along for the ride. Yeah, so. I think Dan and I kind of like, I don't think we know. And we, you know, we have so many friends and so many great comics out there. And we think we know what the audience will like, but at the same time, as we all know, audiences are so different. But I mm-hmm. think they really do love the comedy because it's just that palate cleanser. They're all like just palate cleansers for our, like you just saw something insane. You don't want to see it. Let's wait. Let's do something else. And then we'll, you'll see it again. And yeah. I think it just makes the show just keep going and going. And well. until actually when you say like, how do you follow it? We did West Side Story and someone had to follow someone dancing to Oh, Maria. for the audience, they do a theme every oh, yeah, show. Like they pick an artist or a musical yeah. and that's every dancer dances to that. Yeah. And Dan had to like perform after like Maria and like people were like, just like, you know, wiping tears <laughs> away. And, like, and, that, and I was like, Oh, this was a, it was such a good idea in my head. And I was like, Oh, this is gonna go. And that has happened to people where it's a little too, like yeah. it's usually like rockets. Yeah, it's and emotional. Run, yeah. And then sometimes it's emotional and you're just like, and comedy, <laughs> let's yuck it up. Uh, so I was, like asking this question what's the most successful night of your professional career where you had to go to the day job from like the the next next morning yeah now I know you already kind of did one like this already up top with the Broadway stuff but I want to know one that was like like, you literally at you know 1 a.m. we're going to bed after a great night like a big night in your career as a performer and then waking up at 5 a.m. Ed's looking at me weird. Um, you're like, yeah, oh, I'm so excited. It's my favorite run, one. I'm oh. running through my Rolodex, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Well. You got one in your head, Ed? We've never answered these ourselves now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, I guess that's true. Um, I, would, I would say probably having a, like, just like, crushing on a show right like I, I i don't have like you know yeah i would just say like doing really well and i bet you this was in la like crushing on a show and then like drinking my face off and then having to go teach yoga at 6 30 a.m but like i'm pu- i puked on the way to work like <laughs> like i'm in my car and i'm like, I'm like i got because i was really good at it you know like i was really good at like pu- I, one time i was in the classroom and i definitely had to hurl and so i went to the bathroom and flushed the toilet at the same time i was like i was a very good hey, puker here on the working class holes we've adopted a phrase that being a working class hole means you can do your job at the top level oh, top while being level. drunk 
<laughs> or hungover. Yeah. Yeah. That is something yeah. for sure. we do. That's the working class move. <laughs> I should have been on the first episode then. I was very good at being hungover and teaching yoga. But in my Is that he- like predominantly what you do as a money like earning yeah. thing to supplement is teach yoga? I Interesting. Taught, yeah, I taught a lot of yoga. When I first started stand up, that that was my job teaching yoga. So I was really hungover a lot. Cause like, you know, in, in LA, like it just like it's where I started comedy. Mm-hmm. I think when you start comedy, you hang out. Oh, right? like, for sure. You hang out and oh, drink. Yeah. That is the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I yeah. feel like that oh, was yeah. a lot of LA. And uh, I don't know why the Uber didn't start way before because everyone was drinking I think and driving. It, it's so crazy. Isn't that, I think it has to do with the digital age. The minute oh, you, sure. can, you can't you track do it on people. Your phone. Yeah, the minute you can start tracking someone is the minute you can actually figure out where a car is. So <laughs> I wish they had that shit. I mean... <laughs> Dad, yes. I bet California is really mad about the DUI drop, so it, that it created because oh, they made a lot of money on DUIs, uh, baby. Interesting. That's probably yeah, why they're yeah. bankrupt now because for fucking thirty years uh-huh. they've been dinging you twenty grand each time you bust a DUI. I know five guys that have at least four of those fuckers. So now they got like fifty DUI's grand. Twenty yeah. grand. Oh, it's probably more now, depending wow. upon your, what number it is. Oh, wow. oh right, right, right. Oh, I right, right, right. I think it's 10 grand one. per DUI. 10 grand? Holy wow. shit. Yeah. I remember going to the Justin Timberlake and Britney Spears like wow. record release party, and Damn. I drove home, and the next morning I looked at my car, I'm like, who parked that? Like, yeah. it, was, it was like, I was like, what? Yeah, so LA was crazy. So yeah. I think that would have to be like, just in general, I don't, yeah, uh, yeah, that was, and then LA, in New York, I, also taught yoga but i teach less yoga now which yeah. is nice but yeah my biggest bomb i think is or my biggest like <laughs> life like, bomb yeah life bomb life is bomb. like is like coming home after like a killer set and then retelling it to my wife and having just like <laughs> zero just getting no, no, yeah. nothing back and i'm like <laughs> and then i gotta go in the room and like listen to my set you know, to kind of like oh, relive it, kind of like, kind of feel better Turn about myself. Are you watching the porn you shot with some girl? Like, man, all right. <laughs> Wasn't as good as I thought. It never is. <laughs> never, never. I don't know no. why we even yeah. watch our sets. After oh my god. Live the memory. And I'm like, I felt like the, the last. Oh, yeah. it's because. Oh, the phone was. Oh, oh yeah, and yeah. I'm making excuses where better. the where the recording was. Oh, that's because I had the phone off to this off the stage. Yeah. You should know. Oh yeah, better. that's right. The waitress threw a rag over my yeah. phone. It when was too far in the back. It, the, the echo of it, like the laughs died before it got to my phone. I got a good one. I okay. opened from Mariah Carey and bombed what? really bad. And then the next morning, I had to be a pallbearer at my uncle's uh, funeral. That's not a job. Fucking dropped the casket. <laughs> you dropped you the dropped casket. The cas- <laughs> <laughs> I fucking dropped this fucking casket. First of all, they put this asshole that he had money, so they put him in this giant oh. Cadillac of a. Right. And I, I was going over my set. I was going oh, over like, the like, bomb like, all night. In- like what oh, went wrong? I I didn't sleep a wink. Uh, so I was like running on fumes uh-huh. and I hadn't eaten. I was just like not myself and it's me and my uncles carrying this <laughs> giant casket and we were we wheeled it on this high level grass and my uncles are sandbagging me. They're making yeah. me do all the fucking yeah, work. Yeah, cuz you're the young guy. Yeah, they're yeah, making yeah. me do all the work yeah. pulling this fucking casket up a grassy knoll to where the graves dug. Are they, is this the Hawaiian side? Or? Yeah, yeah, these yeah, fuckers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, oh, yeah. How many, why are, how many people are helping you? It's me and f- five Six. other guys. Yeah, five, five, yeah, other right. guys. yeah, five other guys. Right. We get to the hole and you have to lift it off the little yeah, yeah. Yeah. trucky thing onto the, and I lift this fucker and it slips out of my hands and it may, my aunt cried so much. <laughs> she was already crying. Oh, <laughs> not laughter. She didn't cry in made, laughter. Like, his body didn't fall out or anything, but yeah. it made a <laughs> horrific sound. Oh. You heard oh. some jostling going and on like, in there? Like, like, everyone's eating after, right? And they uh, are coming up to me. Like, hey, uh, you dropped the casket, right? <laughs> My oh, uncles are fucking pissing oh. at people's ear about it. Oh. You know, Josh dropped that casket. <laughs> just sh- just ratting me out after I did all the work. Oh, uh, wait, wait. Where's the audience? The audience? The, 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 the guests weren't it around. Was a, it, it, no, it, everyone's waiting. Everyone's waiting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody's, the whole fucking thing. Everybody saw it, right? Yeah, yeah everyone yeah. saw it. Okay. It was right before the guy was going to do, do the, the final the shit. words. Yeah, 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 yeah the words. Just, I don't understand why you just dropping it. Dro- like, where were the other five guys? It's because they're the older they're, uncles. They weren't doing oh, shit. They just it, They it. just laid it all yes. on the young kids. And I yeah. just pushed this fucking thing 
up a grassy knoll with it's not like on like some great technology it's on this trolley with these like lawnmower wheels on it and i'm wheeling yeah. this thing <laughs> what? The, oh, the best what part about for? this story that's sorry the best part about this story is uh, he's thinking about the bomb I'm and still i still thinking about the bomb yeah, and I what joke bomb. was going on in your the head the bomb was so that's... funny too dude. <laughs> the bomb was the worst bomb. it's a hilarious bomb but at the time it was i thought my life was over I wanted to jump in with this asshole. I should have just jumped in the casket with him. Once you dropped it, yeah, you should have. I mean, I it for Mariah Carey, dude. No one wants to see comedy, dude. Yeah, I mean, no one I, there to I hear was, jokes. I was a year into comedy, and I thought it. I thought it was like. How long did you do? Please tell me, twenty to thirty minutes. I was asked to do twenty, and I was bombing so hard I bailed at minute eight. <laughs> <laughs> and then cussed out the road manager <laughs> after I got so insecure and mad. <laughs> I cussed oh, the road no. manager out, it, and crazy. then I was so ashamed. Did I didn't want to walk. I didn't want to walk up to leave, so I was so ashamed. And I sat backstage for as long as I could. And the security had to ask me, like, had to remove me. <laughs> like the backup dancers were stretching to go on. I wouldn't leave. I didn't want to leave. What I didn't want to face anyone up there. <laughs> what did you tell the tour manager? What were you yelling at him? He said something to the effect of, "Is that all we get?" And I just started going off about my pay, <laughs> <laughs> my pay, oh, I I and my, my free meal. Like I was just being a piece of shit. Oh, that's even better. Yeah. Oh, I love. He, he, oh, he he hated me. I love the indignation. If he thought he could like, like beat my ass, he would have tried. Like if he, I saw in his face, like if he, he just didn't think uh, it would go his way. That's uh, why he didn't do it. I, he wanted to hit me. I love that. And then the next day, you're around all these people crying. Oh you're god! Just like, and then the guy's dead, and I got to yeah. deal with all that and shit. And you're just, you're just replaying your own funeral <laughs> that happened the hero. night before. Like, how they, what is that song, Hero? And he's like, <laughs> <laughs> I kept replaying them blowing up like 50 beach balls and putting them out there to fill the 12 minutes I didn't fill. Shut. That's all they did. Uh -oh, and people were totally loving it. <laughs> people were loving the beach balls. You, you got passed over by the beach balls. Passed over. I got outdone by. They killed me. <laughs> the beach balls killed. They killed. That's your next people show. were going nuts. There was all these uh, re like retarded people in the front row, like uh, slow adult. Sorry, they're uh, mentally challenged. Sure. Mentally challenged adults. The beach ball. They were going crazy. Didn't laugh at one of my jokes, so Joanna. <laughs> but the beach ball, they were fucking losing their they mind. Didn't over. Get you. Shit, I was too heady. <laughs> Let's go over your set right now, and I'll tell you why. Oh man, my biggest joke at the time, my best joke was this blowjob joke, and I was bombing so hard that I forgot pretty much my whole act. Uh, so I had to go to my closer right away, and even that bomb, that's when I bailed. I was like, well, none of the shit I can remember is going to work. <laughs> Have a great night. Give it up for the beach balls. Give it up for the beach balls. <laughs> Next coming out are the beach balls. You I had a guy who was like, hey, my cousin said she was at that concert and the comedian like got off no, really quick. No, no, no. <laughs> and this was years later. I fucking, I don't know. I was telling somebody the story and the guy, oh, my sister was at that. <laughs> what? Wait, do we have call-ins? What? Uh, where was this? Let's get some call-ins. Your <laughs> sister was at that concert? Where oh, was the concert? My God. We it was in front of like 5,000 people at the, uh, at the time it was called the San Diego County Credit Union Jesus. Amphitheater. Now it's called like San Diego State. Something yeah, they always change like those names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Call <laughs> us if you were there. Dude, that was brutal. Oh my god, that's amazing. Oh uh, wait, did you tell us yours, Ed? It, would, it doesn't compare to that. <laughs> <laughs> it does not compare to that. That's my. And then I had to go to my day job the next day. <laughs> what was the day job at I that was time? Helping with an insurance company. Okay. Oh, it was okay. awful. And then, the, and then the funeral later that day was no, no, no funeral. Then I had to go to work. <laughs> oh, oh God! <laughs> Just batting a thousand. Dude. Oh my yeah. God! <laughs> So were you in a suit? You were in a suit. Yeah, yeah, I, was yeah, in yeah. A, I mean, yeah. First time I was you in a dressed suit. up for work. Oh my god! It was hot. It was uh, August uh, in San Diego. Oh. It was hot. God, I was sweating too. Oh, I love it. You sweating after you dropped your uncle? Uh, fucking guy, man. <laughs> yeah, they're like coming up to you, like, yeah, you know, you dropped a. Hey, you know hey, what? I had I'm a rough working. night. I got a tough night. <laughs> Hey, I got outdone by beach balls. Okay? <laughs> I went to Mariah Carey last time. My career's over, all right? I fucking bombed. <laughs> Which tour of the Mariah Carey was this? I'm glad it wasn't one of the big ones. It was um, after Lover. Glitter when she had the breakdown. Oh. So she was trying to revive her career. Okay. So it was a smaller venue. I'm sure she would have played right. a, a lot bigger venue if it was something else. But Oof. 
Yeah. <laughs> I think it's a great story. I think it's a great story. <laughs> Joanna, plug where you're at and when they can see Shtick a Pole in it, please. Oh, sure. Uh, next show is this weekend, Memorial Day weekend, May 24th, 25th at DROM. Okay. Uh, they can go to shtickapole.com or what do you This think? is going to run later. But, uh, oh, but it doesn't matter. It's going to run yeah. later, but just go to oh, stickapole.com. Yeah, stickapole.com, Instagram, stick it. Typically, what's the cadence? How many times a month? Once a month? Every Ooh. other week? Yeah, it's like, it's, it's so hard. It's like okay. every second and fourth Saturday. Oh, no, that's a lie. Every second and fourth weekend of the month. And then once summer hits, it's just going to be the fourth Saturday of the month. So people just go to the website. Yeah, and yeah. Make that's it easier. It's awesome. a fantastic show. Great show. If oh, you're in New York City, go. so much fun. It Thank always you guys. gets. Doesn't Time Out New York always vote it like the thing to it do or something? I, it that is even crazier. They're yeah. so good to us at Time Out New York, and um, it's a fantastic show. Yeah, it's oh, fun. Thank you. It's well, fun. Thank you. It's super fun. I love it. Yeah, awesome. It's great. We'll have you guys back soon, yeah. please. Uh, JoshRicardo.com at Josh Ricardo. We are going to be hitting. Uh, Wallingford, Connecticut, around Hartford, Connecticut, Seattle, and uh, Westerly, Rhode Island. So we're around, and there's a lot more dates to come. So make sure you figure that out and come see us. Follow me on Instagram at Ed McGowan Comedy. Go to edmcgowan.com to see my dates. They're all the same. Uh, and we will see you guys. Oh, uh, email us. Oh yeah, email yes. us if you if you ever had a stripper tell you you were ugly. Uh, <laughs> I was just gonna say us. to Let's email him. Club. He's he's so, beautiful. <laughs> if you want to tell Let's Josh, start a he's club beautiful. where a fucking stripper shrieks your balls in front of your friends. Or if you were at the Mariah Carey concert, uh, yeah, yeah. Send Thanks, Joanna, for doing yeah. that. You can Instagram me personally and tell me <laughs> what you thought his worst joke was. <laughs> and if you want him to be a pallbearer, you can just I'll give you my phone number. <laughs> <laughs> Working class comedians at gmail.com. We'll see you guys again next week. Thank Sir. you. You can listen to us on all major podcast platforms every Wednesday. You can follow us on Instagram at Working Class Holes. Also, make sure you watch the full show on YouTube. All you gotta do is type in Working Class Holes. And please don't forget to rate us five stars and tell a friend. Come on. 